you wouldn't be wrong in thinking I've already done an army builder video and we have for the clones and I also touch upon the gonk droids as well which even though that video will come out before the release of Jedi Bob Shuttle I do include a servo in the list and I did have every single gonk built for that video today we're taking a look over at the separatist faction because I haven't done a droid army video and there's a really good reason for that I haven't had a droid army to show you I really haven't had enough droids until I reviewed a set yesterday a custom set not officially through Lego that came with 28 battle droids which is a lot it's an amazing set especially for the value that you'd be paying so definitely check out that video if you haven't already but that is why today we're taking a look at my separatist army not just the droids but the vehicles that I have built I'm not going to be rebuilding any of my old sets to include if I haven't liked it enough to keep it built it's not going to feature in this video there's a few other droid figures as well one of which I will be uploading instructions for if you do want to build it alongside this video so check it out in the description and let's get on with the army firstly we're going to need a general for this droid army and that is why right here we have general grievous with his two light up lightsabers if i completely dim the lights you can see these look really really cool and i don't think i'm ever going to get enough of these led lightsabers but Grievous is the only Separatist leader I actually have in my collection. I do also own an Asajj Ventress and I guess Palpatine counts from the gunship. But if we can turn back on the lights, we don't have any Dooku's in this collection. And he is the real leader of the Separatist army. If I give Grievous a little spin, I think the detail Lego have put on this minifigure is really really cool and of course the led lightsabers definitely add that extra bit that was missing from lego's side i really wish lego would bring back some sort of led lightsabers right behind general grievous we have a full battalion of battle droids that's right i finally have a battalion of battle droids you might know if you've been around this channel before i think this was weeks probably even months ago i was trying to build a full battalion of B1 battle droids. I still haven't quite yet hit that target, but this is one battle pack away from being a full battalion of B1 battle droids. So the back half are from yesterday's set, and then we have these two Kashyyyk B1s, which were the pilot of this AAT just on the back left here. We'll look at that in just a second. And then we also have the two pilots from the old droid carrier. Not that one on the right. That's where all the other B1s at the back come from. And you can watch that video yesterday for the review. But from the one that included Jar Jar and the Gungan Warrior. Excluding all those at the back that I just pointed out. These front half and then the four designed B1s back there. Are all official Lego minifigures. Which is crazy to think this is what... 15 years of collecting Clone Wars and prequel era Lego sets ends up. It's not a lot of B1 battle droids, if I'm honest. And I did miss out on that really cool battle. One of the first battle packs of just the plain battle droids with the B2s, which is really nice that Lego have bought them back in the end. So I'm going to have to pick up a few more of them when they are on a heavy discount sale. Because now, you know, you can get 28 for not far off the price of that one battle pack i do own a few more different battle droids now this one here isn't an official lego minifigure because they can get pretty expensive but you can see it's a b2 with a rocket arm it's a replica it's really good quality to be honest and it definitely goes in this army so i couldn't have made the video without it but i also have one of these commando droids now I do believe I have broken the other bendy arm. Thankfully, the arms and I think even the legs aren't too expensive. The big thing is the torso with the red dot. There are a few different variations of this minifigure. And I don't know if this is the expensive one or not. It probably isn't because I got it in my collection. And I didn't tend to go for many of the rare figures. Just the ones that looked really cool. But I do have this commando. I would like a few more of them. So perhaps at some point I will grab a few more because... I think they showed up in a few different battle packs so they're common enough for people to collect 
This is my custom droid car. No, it's custom. It was heavily inspired by someone's design. I can't remember their name, but I've said it in a few previous videos. So the information is out there. We also have this dwarf spider droid, I believe, from the ATTE playset. We'll be looking at that towards the end of the week as well. It's a really cool model and I think this one ain't too far off mini figure scale, though there is again a larger version. That's the same with all of these, especially this tri-droid here, who does have a larger version, but this is the mini figure scale smaller version. Just remove a joint from the legs. It's probably the easiest modification I have ever made to any official Lego set. But a separatist army isn't really any good without having any vehicles in its possession. So first up we have this AAT. I've done a review on this very, very recently. In fact, I think it was as recent as Sunday. It's a really cool set. You can fit two battle droids in. I think it's amazing you can fit a battle droid in the top because I don't think many people do realize it. But if you fold it up into this seated position with its head hunched over, it does fit perfectly in i can't remember how i did it you have got to have the droid sat up and there we go there's no gap in the top bit there and you can fit at least another one in there and we also found out you could fit another two in the back so this does hold four droids i will be turning it into a mini figure scale model which will hold so much more i'm not quite sure the capacity of an in universe aat but i'll make sure it holds at least double these four droids and like I said yesterday, we looked at this droid carrier, which holds 28 droids on the back. You can get an extra four droids down there, as well as two pilots to hold half a battalion of droids and then the two pilot minifigures, which is really, really cool. I'm tempted to get another one of these and try and extend the back so we can get the full 12 minifigures on. It's not quite minifigure scale though. Minifigure scale puts this at the same length as the MTT, which I think honestly is crazy. And perhaps this looks better than just having a very large tank with, I think it was like 0.8 of a battalion on the back. Two of these makes a battalion and that's good enough for me. So with all of the droids packed onto the droid carrier, you can see my battalion is a bit empty, but definitely check out that video from yesterday if you do want to see more about the droid carrier. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. And may the bricks be with you always.